All right, this video is to show you how to do a chi-squared goodness of fit test. And a goodness of fit test is used when you have one column of frequencies and you want to show if those frequencies are um, evenly distributed, if there's no preference whatsoever versus if there is a preference. So let's say we give a survey and we have liker answers of strongly disagree, disagree, agree, uh, nope, I forgot, neutral, neutral, pardon me, agree, and strongly agree. So there's my answers, and then let's say when I give those answers, I come up with a frequency for each of those answers of, let's say, 18, 15, 4, 8, and 5. Now, to me, it kind of looks like there seems to be a preference for strongly disagree and disagree. But what we need to know is, is that a statistically significant difference or not? Is it obvious that there's a preference for those answers over the other? And the way that we determine that is by doing chi-square test. So to do a chi-square goodness of fit test, the first thing you need is an expected values column. So next to our frequencies, we're going to put our expected frequencies. And to calculate those, what we really need is we need the average of these five numbers. Well, the nice thing is, is in most of Excel, what you can do with these is when you highlight a block of cells, if you follow my cursor down here to the bottom, Excel should default to giving you some information right off the bat. It's telling me that the sum of all those values is 50 and that their average is 10. So I'm just going to take that average, which is 10, and put that in for all my expected frequencies. If your Excel did not do that for you, what you would do down here is you could just take these, add them up, and what you can do for that is you go into the cell, hit equals, and then if you go and click on FX, you can find the average. It should be one of the first ones that pop up. Hit OK, and then it'll ask you what numbers you want to average, and we want to average this column right here, which is hidden by the box, but, but that's OK. And then just hit OK. The formula results 10. There's my average. That's why I put in 10 for the expected frequencies. However, we really don't need that because I'm guessing almost everyone who's using this, if you do this whole trick of highlighting, it tells you the sum of what you've highlighted and the average of what you highlighted, and that's your expected frequency. So now I need to do my chi-square test. Now, before I even do the chi-square test, honestly, I should stop what I'm doing right now and say, you know what, before I do anything else, I should always, always, always write out my hypothesis. So I'm going to take a second and do that in a text box. And I'm just going to highlight it so it doesn't disappear. Let's see, I'll highlight it a nice little pastel -y orange here. So my hypotheses are going to be h sub 0 and h sub 1. My null hypothesis is that there is no group preference for an answer. And then our alternative hypothesis is that there is a group preference. Okay. Another way to write this is that the answers, the frequencies are easy, evenly distributed and the frequencies are not evenly distributed. But in general, we can just say no group preference and a group preference for our hypotheses. All right. Now to test my hypotheses, I need a p-value. To get a p-value, I need to do a chi-square test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to another cell. I'm going to go up to the formula bar. And then I'm going to hit equals. And then I'm going to hit the FX button. And I'm going to look for chi test. So what we do is we can just type right in here, in this box right here, I want a chi test. Hit enter. And it should bring it right up for us. Hit OK. The actual range is my frequencies right here. So I'm going to highlight those boxes. And then my expected range are my expected frequencies. And then I hit OK. And I get a p-value of 0 0.00394. So once I look at that result, I say OK. I had the wrong button there, pardon me. Once I get my result, I say p equals 0 0.00394. Since p is less than 0 0.05, we have evidence to reject H sub 0 and support H1, which means 
there is evidence at the 95% confidence that there is a group preference. And that's how you do a chi-square test.